All right. All right. I told y'all we'd get there. Hey, better late than never. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we missed map one, y'all. To, to my players uh, from both teams, I'm so sorry we missed map one. It's just a fluke. You know, just one of those things. All right. I, I don't know who we're waiting on, but it's importantly not me. Hmm. We're waiting on tanks. Of course we're waiting on tanks. We're always waiting on tanks. We're always waiting on tanks. St. Tex, rocking the, the Dallas Viola icon. What if you're another Texas native? Hmm. Hmm. St. Tex, if you're a Texas native, you, you reach out. You let me know. I'm born and raised in Dallas. We got to, you know, support each other and that kind of thing, I suppose. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going, we'll roll with that. We're, we're going to, we're going to go with that. My story and I'm sticking to it. All right. Once we get a hero in here, Umi Hero Sparrow Paradox Cooper Tastic. Guy Sniper. Taking on St. Tex. Uh, QWERTY. Uh, Rohin. Ronin. And Alphabet. Actually, I'm just going to go with R2. All right. I'm not going to try to differentiate here between Rohin and Ronin. Even pretty sure Rohin, it might just be. I, I don't even know. I don't even, we're calling them R2. They are officially R2 throughout the rest of this match. Oh, it's Chain in, not Hero. All right. Long awaited. Pause overrated. King's Row activated. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Come on, Overwatch. All right, let's change our region here. Is a fix. Oh. What, 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 I get a random message request that says, hey, bud, how are you doing? I don't know you. All right. We're going to get the, uh, the Genji cast defense here out of my door to kick things off. Already showing us the May. And we, we saw a very similar matchup uh, back in Fluffy versus TSM. With Chime pulling out the May a lot, uh, going up against the Gigi on the other side of King. So there's precedent here. Hey, R2 grabs first blood here in this second map. And with that, no, no topside rotation needed. It's immediate. Whereas it's on to the objective into the back of Hotel. Here for small indie team. That opening pair of kills should be enough. Sky Sniper trying to make their way back. At least gets the... Ooh, does everybody get the subway spawn? Yes, everybody gets the subway spawn. Barrel making a swap over to the Ash. That was a split second from Sparrow spawning all the way in the back of Point C. I'll that coming close to the first ultimate online here in map number two. An orbital ray would be a great tool to help push through this choke. Particularly powerful when you need to get to a place where you can't see. You can kind of angle the orbital ray through the wall, but they don't even need it to start pushing forward. Already good poise, good position claimed. 
As the order comes in a bit late, does prompt a speed ring disengage. Oh no, they fake the disengage. They're coming right back in with an orbit array of their own. Chain's already both through R2. Guy Sniper grabs a cookie on the outside. Bob looks on from the far back. First fight win here out of the defense of Midori. Oh, and it's gonna be a quick response with the rally and the terror surge thrown in. It's looking like Sit has decided that they just want to immediately strike back. Chain's gonna throw in a terror surge and find Saint Tex with that one. Bob thrown in from the window of the high ground sparrow immediately grabs a pair of kills. Wouldn't surprise me to see this guy sniper Farah. Farah has been very, uh, very strong in this meta. He's seen a lot of Farah today, actually. Courtney with a blizzard ready to go. Another orbital out of alphabet, not far behind it. Oh, the paradox is keeping right in step with that one. Who do you lock down with this blizzard? If you can get chained without fortify, it would be a great target. There's the wall. Blade up from the defense to try to fend off this blizzard. Sky Sniper's already just flown through to, to the back line. And has Saint Tex running for their life with but a speck of health. And defense holds. So hard to lock down anybody with a blizzard in this composition. Everybody's got escapes. Sky Sniper is able to just dash through the entirety of both the blizzard and the oncoming threat from Midori. Goes right onto the supports. Uh, excuse me, from small indie team. God, don't, don't, don't me get it backwards here. Let me get it twisted. Chain hiding it just around the corner here. Very aggressive positioning from this defense. Has the speed ring to disengage, but now you, you know that's not a factor. If you're the attacking sit and they're gonna throw in the Bob and the Terra Surge and try to come claim some space. Rally up from the counter punch. Ooh, Terra Surge got good damage onto R2. They are able to back out. Oh, Cordy's stuck behind enemy lines. Here comes Saint Sex with the rally to bail him out. The entirety of Small Indie team huddles into Bookstore to bail out Cordy mid ice block. The Bob response in the back and forth lands in Midoriya's favor. The Sparrow with another fantastic Bob. Outside rotation. The speed ring out. Ooh, I mean, just completely circumvent main choke. Give him a little bit of a different look here. Walling in chain or a little ray over the top. No shot. Chain's going to survive that one. Really nice and a good plan. And they managed to just surge through the defense with a great wall. Now Cordy has a blizzard here to help close out this third point. Good stall from Paradox and Sky Sniper. They'll be the fastest ones back, so with them kind of holding the cart back there, it might have bought enough time for a recontest. We'll see. Yeah, looking like Chain and Company are going to make it back here in time. They do have Blade to work with. Blizzard on to the point. Sky Sniper with the Katana. Heads down, Roller 2 and Saint Tex both falling under the blade. Triple head shot there. Sky Sniper with a nice little three piece here to put a stop to this cart with only 20 seconds to go. Such a long run back. That may just be this uh, attack phase. Done and dusted. Where are you on to a tracer? Seven seconds. Can you get in? Double dash passed. Yeah, that's all you got. Did not have the third dash to make it. No OT.
Wait, there's actually an Overwatch logo behind all that nonsense? I don't think I've ever noticed that. Like the, the mid score where it says like 01. There's an Overwatch logo back there. Very, very, very faint. Little jump 360. <laughs> Aren't you just having a good time? <laughs> There's that Sky Sniper Farah that we were hinting at a little bit earlier. Oh, I'm such a cool skin. I love this skin. I forget about how cool this skin is with the en the enchanted armor or whatever, where it just falls to pieces of armor when you get the kill. Uh, speaking of getting the kill, Cordy's already found one. He's like kill on the Cooper here to kick things off. Slowly but surely, kind of making their way into this point. Sky Sniper providing some cover up above, and Sparrow's trying to push up these stairs. So, Gordy taking rockets to the back, pulse pistols to the front, and has to just duck away. Sparrow will claim the high ground on the back of this. Head up and look to get a pick onto R2. Is joined by Cooper. Swift stepping up. Here comes Gordy to try to help bail him out, and just everybody goes down. Gordy survives, but looks to be, well, may not survive for long. Looking around the outside. Ooh, nice shot from R2. Oh, the flex shot I've ever seen one. Where he goes out looking. Finds what they're looking for. Ooh. And gets their prey. So Flake are already out of the fight. This guy sniper swaps back over to a May. Dance to the window. Moment of Ray very far back here from Midori. It's just now able to kind of push through, but they do get a kill on the back of it. Kind of chain able to stay in the very tail end of that orbital array to help pick up one. Ooh, Cooper with a good shot here on the back end. New flex support here from Midori. Looking good so far here today. Seeing that rush in from Cooper. Bob held back. Remember, the box of victory is back air. So this rally from Saint X, Saint Tech, completely justified to escort the team just back up to the objective. Courtney's gonna see if they can put it into the fight now. With a little bit of space to work, they force the swift step out, but Sparrow stands their ground. It's him right in the dome, ice in the veins. Now just ducked back around behind the corner. R2 is able to find a couple of picks, including uh, getting a kill on the Sky Sniper. Does eventually go down, but Midori has to reset. Even if it's just a soft reset here, apparently.
Bob into the back. Came with the Terror Surge right on the box of victory. Finds Alphabet immediately and leaves Saint Tex very low on health. Self destruct in over the top. Will not find anything. Paradox and Chain combined to keep running from getting back in mech. And it's gonna be Midori. Grab it, map two. The droid and I got beef with him. I like that uh, uh, victory pose where the Arisa is like holding their their spear. You don't see the Arisa with the spear very often. <laughs> Screaming collegiate. I don't care. Get him in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Majori and Sit having a good time here. We take a look at some stats from Map Two. Oof. Look at that chain with only one death. That's impressive. That's impressive. Leading the server in damage as well with over thirteen k there in Map Number Two. And we're heading over to Midori's map pick here for push. Go ahead and get their second point on the board before I get too far ahead of myself. Oh, I suppose we can get some music back on. I think I'm trying, I'm trying to get the music back on here between maps. I think it adds a nice little like, okay, we're in between maps again. You know, just a, a little thing. And take a look at our bands. That's not our bands. That's our bands. Coliseo band out here by Small Indie Team. We're getting our lineups finalized. I'm not seeing any subs here right out of the gate, uh, but teams are letting the timer burn. So either we're getting a sub or somebody's just AFK. go now we got lineups finalized i don't see any subs here ready to head in map number three we're gonna stop it we'll be your map here for push Not Wanaku Pacha. Oh, it's the clothes the clothing store. I found one. Gotta have the heart llama. I want one of those. I want a heart llama. I guess I just need to go to Peru. It's probably an alpaca. That's okay. It's a heart paca. An El Harda? Something like that. But being Peruvian, it's probably an alpaca, not a llama. Careful, this bit.
Party back onto the May here. And Sky Sniper going over to the kid. We're getting a little bit of, you know, our, our teams are kind of dancing around with what heroes they like to do, going back and forth between the Mei and the and the Genji. None at the same time. One one has to run one, and apparently both have to be present. <laughs> R2 fighting first blood, just as they did back in King's Row. But unfortunately, it's a trade for their Mei. Oh, let's go to our Sky Cyber driving in on R2. We'll find that pick as Sparrow gets a pick on to St. Tex at the same time. Beautiful little one-two combo. And the Sparrow kind of comes in underneath with Sky Sniper playing along the outside. And it's been a nice first fight win here from Midori. Doria at full strength. Didn't want to push just yet. Wall used to help block against that dead eye coming in. Everybody kind of able to duck around cover, but R2 is low when Sky Sniper is able to move in, help finish them off. Rally out from Cooper. Orbital Ray throw it in from Midoriya as well as Sky Sniper pulls out the Katana to add more ultimates into this fight. Hopefully to be the last ultimate if you're a Midori fan used in this fight. The chain's going to throw one in as well. That will end up netting a pair of kills. Midori needed it. They were down behind, and chain ends up coming in with the final ultimate used. I believe the, the eighth ultimate used in this fight, the fifth. Uh, excuse me, the third here out of, well, in team fifth out of Midori. Yeah. Well, that was all five out of Midori. There comes number nine into the mix. I was right the first time, by the way. I shouldn't have even just second guessed myself. Say next falling back to peel against Sky Sniper. Meanwhile, Chain is able to win out here in, I guess, what is it, a 4v3. Good job from Midori, able to kind of create an advantageous matchup there for him. Still trying to push this advantage, although Chain looks a little separated, not within sight lines of their healers. Does go up the jump pad and rejoin with Paradox, but here comes Quarty following him with Blizzard in the pocket. Oh, fortunately, Sky Sniper manages to pick up St. Tex along that outside. <clears throat> and Quarty won't get a chance to use that Blizzard. Laid out from Sky Sniper just to clean this up. And clean it up, they shall. That's the checkpoint, and then some here from Midori. Rally out, speed ring disengage, and Midori are gone. They just nope out of there. Just leave a dust trail behind. So this guy Sniper was still kind of hiding underneath. Didn't disengage with the rest of the team, but gets found out. Not able to play spy. Orbital throwing in from both teams. Bob stopped and speared away. Ronan looking for the second terror surge. Does minimal damage. Uh, Scooper shows up with the rally to bell chain out. Ooh, gotta be careful about the edge of that blizzard. Just LOS is it. Smart move, knowing exactly where Snowball was located, where the center of that blizzard was. And Supertastic able to hang on along the outside, not get frozen up. And still Midori have not wrestled control of this thing. There's just people scattered everywhere. Guy Sniper and Sparrow doing work in the back, though. 
Since the USS kick ass. Full steam ahead. Off bet up there with the little peels. Sky Sniper is still holding up in window. Now you gotta send somebody to dislodge Sky Sniper Hero. Oh, that'll do. Or you can just, you know, spear shot from down low. Sparrow throws out a dead eye and kind of keeps everybody at bay despite uh, them being down a player. Now Sparrow's going in on the flank. Ooh, might be able to catch R2. R2 is aware. Lands a couple of shots. Meanwhile, the rest of Small Any Team have managed to push around the corner. I've had my headphones on my head more often than not in the past 48 hours. Rally, Terra Surge, there's the response out of Ronin. But in the middle of an orbital ray, just significantly kind of cutting the teeth off on that Terra Surge. Alphabet apparently used theirs amidst that as well. I did not see where the red orbital went. A better ring and a rally to boot here for small any team as they're giving chase. Oh, but Sparrow gets the fadeaway shot onto R2. Now Sky Sniper going in with yet another blade. Seems to have these dragon blades like every other fight. And continually gets value with them. Finding a pair of backliners. Bow supports gone. Ronin with no sustain. Sky Sniper with a four piece in this fight. 105 meters on the board here from the door. In. Woo. I don't fight for the top here. Still a bit of time if if Ronan and the rest of Small Indie Team can manage to get some progress going here. They can start to mount a clapback. Speed rings just to get up the rest of this awkward hill. There's no minimal cover. Not no cover, but minimal cover on that straight. Sparrow popping out, trying to take advantage of that. Looking to try to sandwich. Both casts end up down. Cordy using their wall to try to escape. Running across the top. Even picked up a kill on the Sparrow on the way out. But there's Chain to corner him in. Ronan trying to close this out. But around the corner goes Chain. They dodge the Terror Surge. Sit control a TS-1. There's minimal reinforcements here. Okay, they're starting to trickle in. Here comes the defense. Important fight here for small any team. They've got the orbital ray to work with. Playing out of the corner. They've got the better raise. Looks like the fight will just continue back in their favor. Chain trying to muscle it out and Sky Sniper dropping yet another one. Dude, it has these on cooldown, it feels like. This one's not getting much, though. It does get an initial pick on the Alpha, but gets shut down by Cordy. Rally up here to try to bolster the rest of... What is this? Very broken fight. Oh, that's a 3v2 left here on this point. It's still in need of the checkpoint here as we enter OT. Got to keep somebody anchored onto the bot at all times. Rally now up here from Midori as Sky Sniper goes in on St. Tex. Chain is able to pick up a kill. Cooper pushing forward on the front line. Chain pouring in damage with that fusion cannon. Actually, it's a fusion driver. Hey, anyway, you know, if it's Midori in the driver's seat, 
And they'll close out this map and close out the series. 3-0 here at the Midori to round out the first week. Both teams will finish week one with a one and one record. Sorry I didn't get that first map in, y'all. I'm so sorry. Just an unfortunate happenstance. Uh, nobody's fault. But I still feel bad. You know, I still feel bad. Hey, either way, you know what? Better late than never. We got a couple of great maps in here. Hell of a way to round out the week. Awesome to get a new squad in here. I mean, small indie team, brand new squad here in Season 3. Love getting a look at this team. Uh, and Midori definitely seem to have leveled up. You know, they've got some great additions. Uh, we, you know, Cooper and Paradox added to this roster, uh, bolstering this back line a little bit. Uh, and, and had a fantastic showing, had a fantastic series here today. So looking forward to both of these teams continuing to find their rhythm, kind of find their groove as the season goes on. Uh, and I know both of them hopefully, you know, making a run at, at uh, you know, being top 16 here in season three. But I think that is all I got for you today. Been a hell of a day. Thank you everybody for hanging out, whether it's, you know, early in the day or just here for this match do really appreciate it um i don't have much else for you i'm gonna take tomorrow off uh i mean i'll, I'll probably be watching the games but i don't i don't feel i'm gonna scroll uh, co-stream tomorrow uh, i've got a dnd &D match tomorrow so but i'll definitely be back on monday or at the very least i may do some co-streaming on sunday i still haven't i still haven't decided what i'm gonna do sunday we'll see what my schedule looks but at the very least, I'll be back next week for more Face It League. Planning to just do two matches every single day. So I'll have an EMEA match and an NA match for you every single weekday for Face It League. Um, we'll see if reschedules. Friday is kind of the reschedule day. It's kind of my open day. Uh, and if, you know, you want to get your team on stream, you know, rescheduling to Friday is a good way to do it. But also, I mean, just feel free to DM reach out to me. Uh, happy to get, happy to get you know, any division on. So even if you're an advanced or open division, please hit me up. Love, love to get you on stream. <laughs> GG, Paradox, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for being here. Good showing. Good showing. Looking good on the new squad. Uh, and absolutely, sorry I missed first map. Really sorry I missed first map. Um, You know, not ideal, but, you know, at least we got a couple of good maps in here for you. Dresden, your, your team looks good, my friend. Team looking strong. Majori's looking strong. Looking strong. Always good to have the coaches in here. <laughs> All right, I mean, that's going to do it for me, y'all. I don't got anything else for you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, be kind to each other, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye, friends.